Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video, I'm going to show you really quick how you could teleport to your Raspberry Pi in your Anon G2. Now this will work the similar way with the RF2KS amplifier if you have that. What you need to do is you need to first download the real VNC viewer and here's the the link. I can find it. There you go. Um the website is um uh, www.realvnc.com. And uh go ahead and download that and install it. And once you have that running you're going to, well, first you need to be able to connect a monitor, connect a keyboard, and then connect a mouse to the Anon G2 so that you'll be able to enable some, you need to download the program VNC viewer server and uh, also to enable it so that you can access the uh, G2 Raspberry Pi remotely. Okay, so let's, let me show you the Anon G2. I am logged on to it right now. This is just for um, training purpose, showing you how to do this. All right, so once you have your mo monitor, your keyboard, your mouse connected to the Anon G2, you have this screen here. You click on this um, Raspberry Home, go to Preference, go to Recommended Software, let that load, and then you're going to go scroll down to the very bottom where you see Real VNC. So here we go, I'm scrolling down. Well, it's not called Real VNC, it's the VNC viewer. Put a check mark on that. And then when you exit, you apply and close, it's going to install it for you. The next thing you need to do while you're here, so you have access, you need to give permission. So we go to the Raspberry Pi, you go to Preference, go to Raspberry Pi Configuration. Here under the System tab, I changed my host name to Anon G2. I think the default is Pi, Papa India, Pi. And your default password would be Raspberry, okay, lowercase. Now go to interfaces and take a look at what I have there. You can um, enable this one. This is the important one, VNC. Make sure you enable that and then click OK. So that's how you get started. The next video right here, I'm going to show you. The next thing is once you have on your Windows computer, once you have your Windows um, or the real VNC loaded, I'm going to show you how to establish communication. Okay, I double click my real viewer. This is the real VNC viewer. Um, don't look at these. Those there, those are my already connected. I've already co uh, configured those. So out here in this open box area, or you can go file and then new connection. You just do a right click here in this area here, new connection. And your VNC server, if you know the IP address, you can type it in. If not, for you, you would have to type the word Pi, P I, that's Papa India. In my situation, since I've already changed my username, I'm going to, I think mine is called Anon G2. Here under the name, you just create a name. Uh, I'm just going to label this, um, let's see, G2 for YouTube. 
video okay I don't change anything here I don't go to options I leave that alone and I don't go to expert I leave that all, all alone okay I got a non G2 and I labeled it as that G2 for YouTube videos click OK now we're going to connect all you need to do is double tap once you double tap you have your username okay um it's pi and then it's always going to be pi and then your password is going to be raspberry you can click remember the password uh, I'm not going to do it in this in this video. Click OK. So now I am now connected to the Raspberry Pi. And that's it. And um, you can make changes. For example, um, if you got an update, like let me see what uh, P2 app I'm using. You can see everything there. You don't have to utilize a separate monitor, separate keyboard, and your key, uh, a mouse because you, you're basically teleporting into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm using a firmware of version 19. And uh, my P2 app is version number 34. And... Uh, Hi, HPSDR. I just double tap that. I'm going to execute in the terminal. I don't have anything connected to the back of it, such as speakers or a microphone. All right, so I got two. It's connected via Ethernet, ETH0, and also via Wi Fi. So I'm just going to show you that the P2 HPSDR works. Okay, I'm going to plug in a frequency. And uh, there it is. There's some activity right here. Oh, so that works. Well, there, guys. Um, I hope you you learned something from that on how to set up your real VNC viewer so that you could actually connect to your Anon G2. Thank you for watching. My name is Captain Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. And if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a comment and a like. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. 73s. Have a great night.